transferring the rock spike from the stowage position to the mast is quick and simple and requires no lifting. Here the rock spike is engaged on the cradle arm. Once the rock spike is transferred onto the mast, it remains there for the duration of the job. And of course, once you're finished, you simply reverse the procedure and store the rock spike back down next to the counterbalance. And this, of course, means that the rock spike is always there when you need it. Very often people remove rock spikes from post drivers because they're, they're heavy and in this instance here the rock spike weighs 74 kilos and that's a, a big health and safety issue but by having it on the post driver all the time as I say it's there when you need it not at the other end of the field in the pickup or back in the yard This ground, although it's permanent uh, grassland, uh, is a lot harder than you think. I actually reclaimed this field after it had lain since the last war, it had never been ploughed. And when I did cultivate it, it was uh, it was hard and a lot of boulders in it. And there was an awful lot of stones that were picked off the field. I always check the top end of the post to make sure it is square, cut square. I often think you get a better impact with a, with a good square end when it sits under the post cap.
These hard, hard ground conditions, I think, are quite well demonstrated here. This hammer is 400 kilos in weight, and it has a, a maximum hitting power of approximately 62 tons. And you can see, despite the, the hole being punched with a rock spike, it is still taking a little, bo little more time to drive it in. So if it wasn't for the rock spike, it would take considerably longer to drive this post. But notice too how the post driver is sitting rock solid when in operation.